Hello there once again and as you can see I've got my hands on one of these small nice little packages here. It's one of the first packages I think in Germany because today is the official release date. And yeah, let's see. We've got one that's made in Japan so as you pretty much know these ones are of the highest quality and with that I really really like what I will get from this package even before I see what, what's inside. Here it's the serial number, so 2020, uh, 22, 08, 991. Yeah, let's see what is inside here. We know that the quality will be good. We know that the in place or everything that's been in the set is really, really nice. So yeah, I'm happy to get my hands on it. Today is Friday the 8th of July. So yeah, let's see. Official release. Official opening. I'm really intrigued to see what we can get. Because this one is a set yeah, that's really really quite loved and really loved to be seen once again. And yeah, they have double masters, draft archetype, sacrifice, mid-range ramp. Yeah, nice, interesting. So let's see, we've got our hands on 24 packages as far as I know. I'll put those over here that you can see directly what's coming out. And we'll start with the first of these 24. So, interestingly enough, they do have a pull tab, which doesn't work anyway. And yeah, it's still easy and nice to open. Interesting is, ah, it's also a Japanese way of opening. So, as you can see, this one will open with, I think, the token in front. Then there should be cryptic spires. Afterwards should be two foils and afterwards the two rares or mythics. Yep, exactly. Bunt charm, Norbeck Rhino. Oh, nice. Good start. Assassin's Trophy and Intet the Dreamer. With a river hoopo washout and a prophetic bolt. Platform connoisseur. We'll go through with everything a little bit, so the rest is quite the normal stuff. But still, really, really nice. I'll go into the detail a little bit more, that you can see a little bit better. Package number two. I still rather like to open these in this way, because else you won't get to see anything. So I think, what was it? Treasure token. Cryptic Spire to foil to rares. Is it correct? Yes. So Just Guy Charm, Vampire Grides, nice. Unearth, <laughs> Aldizara, Dinosaur set, also really, really cool. And for here, we do have a Boar, Cryptic Spice set, Drag Mantler, Advanced Stitch Wing, <laughs> nice. First Mythic, a Shepherd. And a Rule. Rurik Thar, the Unbowed, legendary creature, which runs reach. First mythic pull, solid one. So let's see what we can pull, what we can get, and how happy we are in the, uh, in the last stage. So I'll go through with it. Zombie token, Cryptic Spires, Rectus Canarium in the extended art as a foil. Really, really nice. Pull this over here. Vampire Sovereign. A leech and a Velak. Don't even know from which edition this is. Seems old. Oh, nice. We've got a Summer Bloom, one of the nicer ones of the rare uh, uncommons. And Casminas for Probation. Probation. Nah. Yep, we can work with that. Package number three. So. To be direct, I'll go through with the uncommons, etc. rather fast, because most of the people, especially me, myself, are interested only... Oh, nice! F Force of Negation, non-foil, as it seems, in the extended art. Nice. Goes to the mythic spot. And a backdraft hellkite. Nice. This was a solid pull once again. 
with that the box itself is already really really nice you can see it here you can go into it a little bit more in the details so as a if you go for Alice of Becker uh, Shepherd for the negations so that the borders themselves are really really cool the quality of the uh, of the surface is as I said is rather matte and really really nice to the touch and yeah you can just yeah enjoy it it's really really nice it's a cool cool really really good quality Interesting enough is I didn't even know that uh, we'll get the Japanese versions here so I also thought uh, once again that this package will be made in Belgium for Europe but it seems it's really good with that so Bor, Cryptic, Liliana's Elite and Imperial Archangel with a Lava Lanch I've got Extract from Darkness, and Pyromancer, a Helix, Summer Bloom, the Charm Arachnos, uh, Titan Strength. I'll go over this one here. Very, very, very nice. Can rip them open a little bit without damaging anything, I hope. So, yep. No damage done. That's good. So they are also pretty, mu pretty much normal for the Japanese cards. Rather straight, rather clear, rather good in the picture. A Rejuvenator, Titan Strength. Oh, nice. Next one, Teferi's Protection. Really, really cool. And this another leaf, a uh, leash. To have Serial Memorial, Unburial Rites. This one go over here. To have Amulet. Oh, a Spot Pierce. That's one of the art cards. Fury Fall. We are still waiting for the Monastery Swift Spear. That's now a common. So it seems a rather rare common. So let's see what else we can get. But as we've got the Force of Negation and the Extended Art, I'm already quite happy with the pulls. Ours of Pontiff, Lava Coil, Old School Lava Coil, Leon and Arbiter, there's Concierge Libraries, and Yahenny, Undying Artisan. Cool cards. Not of the highest value, still very, very cool cards, as well as the Terminate. One of my favorites back in the day. Really like to play with it. So, Mana Lake. And as you've seen, the places for the extended art cards, they are pretty much everywhere, so, so we'll look to, through everything and hope for the best. For now, it's one of the pretty much best uh, rare uh, extended art cards. And let's hope for something good in the Mythic range. We've got a Drake. We've got a Cryptic Spires once again. Momentary Blink. Muldrotta. Cool card. Really, really cool card. Nice to play. Comes to the Fun Staple. Magistrate Sphinx. Rancor. Wall of Omens in Extended Art. This one is really nice to look at. Rancor is always good. So, Hyena Umbra. The Umbra cards are really, really, really good to play. Totem armor, some value for your card. So, now we do have it without any kind of damage. So, we've got a Boar, Cryptic Spires, like always, Seeker Squire, and Abbot of Carol Keep and the Tolerant. Yeah, there are also the myth areas that are not of any value, unfortunately, but that's the game. There have to be some cards without value for other cards with value to be inserted. Else it wouldn't be fun to play the game. Zombie, and I think I've already seen something with out border. We've got a zombie, cryptic spires, We've got a web, web weaver changeling, <laughs> and the dragon lord and the extended art as a mythic. Nice, can't be countered, flying lifelink, gifts ungiven. Nice, nice, nice. Devoted druid, that's a cool one, cold still heart is cool, and the extended art blood artist. Nice. Can work with that. Mana league, god's willing, 
an ether snipe, nice one. So we've got one extended on mythic till now, one extended on rare, and from what I know, <laughs> that should unfortunately be it. Uh, this one doesn't want to be opened at all, it seems. So let's see whether it hides something really good for that. And let's be happy with it. Fairy Rogue, nice for the Bitter Blossom. Crypt expires, Swing Steel. Oh yeah, Divine Visitation, that's a cool thing. That's a really nice card. This is the Enchanter. Goblin Banneret, Conclave Mentor, and a Washout. Washout, one of the old cool cards. Knight of Alcosa. And now back Rhino. Cool rhin Rhinoceros. So, as far as I know, we uh, normally you could or should pull two to three extended art rares or mythics out of this package, uh, out of one display. So, let's see if we can get another cool mythic or one of the really nice rares and hope for the best. Cryptic Charms, we'll put this over here. Forbidden Alchemy. We've got a Atrakas Command, that's a cool card. And the third leash. Spotting Thinax, Sanctuary, go for the throat. And I see another one hiding in there for the extended arts. The Coiling Oracle, it's also a nice card. Put this over here and go over there. So I think we are on the 13th card, I think. I haven't really looked into it, but it seems if I look into the box where there are still one full slot and three boosters in the uh, back here, I think we're on the 13th. Drake, Crypt Expires, Extended Art Foil Terminate, nice, that's a cool pick for me. Kazmina, and the Kazilek Butcher of Truth, nice pull, as well as the Restoration Angel. Yeah, that's also one of the cool angels. Scale Blessing, we've got a Demir Aqueduct and Extended Art, also nice. Settle the Bond, Ambuscade, and, um, and some more cards. So, Kozilek, a really, really nice little pick and a good pull. So, what else do we have here? Spider, once again, a Cryptic Spires, who would have thought? Monastery, that's a nice card, a nice card. Put this over. Yeah, put it still over here. We've, oh nice! A damnation. One of the good cards. Fourth leash. Dragon Arch, Crackling Doom, Wall of Omens. Grapple, a rift bolt. Nice little picks. Damnation is always good. One of the rare board wipes in black. So I just can Raise everything down to the ground. Normally, do you raise it up? I think doesn't matter. We've got another fairy rock, cryptic spires, calling oracle, <laughs> next leash, and another leash. Don't even know how many leashes there are, but I think now we've got everything. Tower gargoyle, we've got a prophetic bolt, and a rod farm. Let's see, even initiative, another swift spare, that's cool. Really like the swift spares. And yeah, we can work with that. Can work with that really, really very well. So, pull this over here and out of here. Zombie, I think I see some, ah, <laughs> nice. Foil extended art mana drain. Nice, that's that's a salt pull. That's really, really, really nice. And the foil hardened scales. This package alone is really, really, really stunning. So if you can see the the border, it's completely without any flaws, cut in a very, very, very good manner and fashion. We've got the hardened scales and extended art. It's very dark, but still very, very nice to see at uh, to look at. Card itself is a little bit bent, still really in a cool way, in a good fashion. Good gilded uh, guided passage and the anger of the gods as normal rares. Well, this package was nice.
really, really, really nice. Can't say anything different. We've got a mana drain and extended art foil. And the extended art force of negation. And a package that doesn't want to be opened once again. It really doesn't want to be opened. So really, really doesn't. Let's see. So I really quite like the Japanese quality. Though the quality in the un boxing or in the opening is really really hard in comparison to the Belgian, one, uh, Belgian ones. So we've got a zombie, another crypt expires, a leash in foil, nice. I'll put this over here. Couple of <laughs> this box is really 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 nice. Imperial seal as another myth uh, mythic and the extended art version. That is nice. That is really, really, really good. Hostage taker is an old uh, one. Because psychic and a mull drifter in the extended art. Oh boy. This box. Uh, should have won a postal. Nice. This box rocks. Let's see what uh, the, the, the final package will offer because we still have pretty much one third of the full box in the, the up front. So let's see. Till now the quality is top part of pretty much everything else. And quality it's uh, the, the the cards themselves, they are simply stunning. Bloodflow Connoisseur, Dauntless Escort, Bedlam Reveler, Inquisition of Kozilek, it was downgraded, but still really really good looking. Heroic, Azorius Chancery, and some Comments still very, very nice. What else do we have here? Oh boy, I'm really getting excited right now because this box is simply stunning. We've got Cryptic Spires once again, Battle Master, Skeleton Archer, put this over here, Itsuri, Claw of Progress, another Mythic, Hydroid Crisis, cool card. Playing it myself. Mist Meadow Witch, Misfire Adept, Drag, and Unearth as an extended art. Put this over here. Nice. Cool picks, cool picks. Ah, Imperial Seal, Foil Extended Art Mana Drain. What else do you want? <laughs> Cryptic Spires, and is it Charm and Agony? Grand Arbiter August and a Chaos Warp. Augustine will come over here, that's cool card. Soul Tag, Wool Turf, Path to Exile. Nice card, nice pull. What else do we have? A Swift Spare. So, yeah, the second normal one. Three total with the foil one. Oh boy. These packages rock. They simply are stunning. And an Elemental, nice. And a Frexing Garum. Cool card. Brindle Throat, Ether Snipe, Droxfall Reaver, and a Skull Barrier. Do we have Civic Saber, Life Wire Lash, is it? And some more cards. Put this over here. So, last three packages. Let us see what we can get. An egg, Cryptic Spires. Is it Pirate's Village? Nice, the Dalkan Ori, extended art. Rickshaw, it's also still cool. Stagger Shark, domestication. And another extended art in the back. Thoughtscour, and that's also a cool pick. For mill decks, a uh, mill and straw card. Really like this one. So, I think we are now on or rare or mythic for the extended art ones. Cryptic Spires, Prophetic Thrive, Fierce Justice, Jessica Ascendancy, Arts of Basilica and extended art. Is it Charm, Militia, a Rift Bolt? No Lightning Bolt to know. Still good, still cool. We can work with that. And now, last one, last package. 
let us see and know what we can get. It's simply awesome, this uh, this box. Crypt expires, Jeskai, Fire... <laughs> Senseis, Divining, Spintop and a Tamriel. Arachnus Spider, Wingsteed, Skeleton Archer, Burning Tree Emissary and the Extended Art. Oh boy. This box was simply absolutely stunning. So, just to see what you what we could get. I'll we'll put the mythics at up, up front. <laughs> the mana drain, I love it. I really, really love it. Kozilek. Got these ones, the fairy, and I oh, know, not, but here's the first, very first one. So, what did we get? We've got in mythics. Oh, so those one, dragon lord, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mythics. And from those three are <laughs> extended art and one is even in foil. So those are absolutely stunning. We've got one, two, three, four, Damnation, five, six, seven. Oh, I forgot the Force of Negation in the extended art then. We've got the Dalkan Ore. Did we get something else in extended art? Don't think so. Nope. So in extended art, we've got the Dalkan Ore. Force of Negation, a Sensei's Grand Arbiter, Hardened Scales, a Damnation. Okay, eight Mythics, Forgot Murota, Teferis Protection as another really nice card, Fury Justice, Jeskai, Chaos Warp, the Krasis, Bedlam Reveler, Dauntless, Ashenmoor Leash, Got Glen Elendra Leash, <laughs> Mindwreck Leash, Deathbringer Leash, Murkfiend Leash. That's the leash box. Yeah, Henny, Wildleaf Leash, Lava Lanch, Backdraft Hellkite, Ashenmoor Leash, Intet, and an Assassin's Trophy. So I think this box was simply absolutely stunning. If you want to see extended art, we've got an Emissary, Thought Scour, Unearth, Spellpierce Foil, Muldrifter, Terminate Foil, Blood Artist, Cool Card, Wall of Omens, Spellpierce, so the normal art for the blood artist, as you can see here, this is a, the face of the blood artist. It's not really uh, stunning for a normal vampire because vampires are normally really, really good looking, as at least in most of the lore. So yeah, the uh, the, the normal art in, in, in these cards here is a little bit better to the eye. Still really, really, really nice to look at. Cool, uh, cool optics. And with these, they'll go straight to these small inner sleeves, the ones with the value. And afterwards, let's see what will be played. Thank you for watching.